New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. An after school vigil today at the Museum of Jewish Heritage, Lower Manhattan, in an effort to fight hate. Students, parents, and teachers all gathered outside the museum where last week someone tied a Confederate flag to the front door. Museum leaders say the show of support encourages them to not back down. This will not stop us. This will not deter us. We will fight hate, and we will fight ignorance, and we will show people there's a better way. So far, no arrests and no suspects. A show of solidarity in Lower Manhattan today at the Museum of Jewish Heritage. A diverse group came together to denounce hate and promote unity. This act of cowardice was done really to incite fear. Timmy Milzer from the Battery Park City School PTA is referring to a Confederate flag that was tied to the door of the Museum of Jewish Heritage last Friday. The hateful incident happened just two days after the U.S. Capitol riots. Now this afternoon, students, parents, and teachers of all ethnicities held a vigil to let the criminals know such a vulgar act wouldn't shake their community. We understand no arrests have been made. Hi everyone, I'm Anthony Pascal. It is time to take a look at the stories making news around the boroughs. Well, Manhattan school community stands in solidarity with a nearby cultural institution after a disturbing discovery. Students, faculty, and parents from PSIS 276 held a vigil outside the Museum of Jewish Heritage, a living tribute to the Holocaust. It was in response to the Confederate flag someone tied to the Lower Manhattan Institution last week. The flag is a popular emblem of white supremacist groups. Students at Thursday's vigil invoked the words of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., saying only light and love can drive out darkness and hate. Being um, a person of color, it's so important that we stand together with all communities to show that we support each other and that we are not going to let anyone who tries to incite hate in our community, we're not going to let this go unnoticed. The NYPD says they are still investigating and no arrests have been made.